learned already that names don't constitute knowledge, that they're knowing the name of something. That's caused me a certain trouble since, because I refuse to learn the name of anything. So when someone comes in and says, uh, you got any explanation for the Fitzclonan experiment? I says, what, what, what's that? He says, you know, that the long-lived K meson disintegrates into two pies. Oh, oh, yes, now I know. But I never know the names of things. What he forgot to tell me was that the knowing the names of things is useful if you want to talk to somebody else. <laughs> so you tell him what you're talking about. But the basic principle of knowing about something rather than just knowing its name is something that you stuck to, is it? Yes, of course. It's, well, you have to learn. These are kind of disciplines in the field of science that you have to learn. That to know when you know and when you don't know and what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And it's, uh, you've got to be very careful not to confuse yourself. Hi guys, how are you? My name is one Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. All right, so I saw this tweet and I, I looked at all the hearts and all the retweets and the comments and man, you know, there's so much false information out there. The, the, people are just unbelievable. He takes a nominal uh, amount and he overlays it with a, with a percentage. That's voodoo right there bad 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 <laughs> you don't understand what the fuck you're looking at and that's what this guy's doing right he's he's trying to push this narrative that everything sucks so uh, we're going to use some third grade math and we're going to debunk it and i'll show you why we are real macroeconomics and not fake <laughs> macroeconomics so um 50 year low in unemployment rate with nearly 100 million you know, they love to use that nominal 100 million, not in the labor force. Hmm, what's going on here, right? There's some uh, conspiracy, fake data. God, ignorance, ignorance. Number one, the population back in 1970 uh, is right here, okay? It's about 205 million people versus today, which is about... 339 million which is i don't know whatever the uh let's say 340 okay so there is a hundred million here there's a hundred million here 100 million that are not in the labor force and back here there is 60 million not in the labor force and you can see that right here okay this is 96 million uh that are not in the labor force and back in 1970 there is 60 million not in the labor force so let's correct that let's correct that well, where is it hold on because i put a hundred it's 96 96 my mouse sucks okay now what what else has happened in between here right we have that baby boomer thing you guys ever hear about that well let's take a look when you talk about economics, if you don't understand the demographics of it all, then you don't know what the hell you're looking at in charts. All right. Uh, so let's take the the average here. And back in 2010, and it was um, uh, the peak was around 50 years old. Okay. Let's fast forward now and watch how it all moves. Right. It all shifts back, moves up uh, to the upside. And now um, they are obviously 57, 58, 59 years old at the peak. So they've they've aged. And what's happened up here above 65? Well, there's more and more people going into uh, retirement. And if this chart went all the way back to 1970 and you can see it shift, you can really see uh, what's going on here, right? So let's take a look in 1970, okay, people over the age of 65 were 10 percent and today they are 22 percent so obviously there's a shift of people going more and more people going into retirement so <laughs> that's why we say the baby boomers right they're retiring blah 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 so let's come over here so 10 percent oops 10 percent okay and over here was 22 percent all right 22 percent of the population is above 65 so where are we on this chart let me move this over so you can see it better right we're about 205 yeah come on we're about uh nope wrong one sorry we're about 205 right here okay and up here we are 
about 300 and it's actually 339 but whatever it doesn't matter you guys get the point okay so 205 million people back in 1970 and from the 205 million 10 percent were unemployed so it's 20 million 20 minus the 60 here you end up with about 40 million who are not in the labor force let's jump over to the next one 96 million are not in the labor force today okay so we have 339 million uh, people in the US times that by 0.22 and you end up with 74 million not in the labor force 74 million not in the labor force so now all we got to do is figure out right how this all works out hold on where is it I can't see it all right so it's 74 so it's 96 minus 74 so there's 22 million today not in the labor force 22 million not in the labor force after you adjust for uh, the old people and how many back in uh, 1970 well it's uh, uh, 40 sorry 20 so 40 million minus the 60 not in the labor force equals 20 million so how many more are not in the labor force today versus 2070 well there's an extra an extra uh, 2 million okay but again remember we are much much bigger today than we were back in 1970 how many people uh, or young adults you know at 16 to 24 uh, we're going to university back in 1970 versus today right we have a lot more today than we did back then so you can you can continue on with this like for me I'm an expat right so uh, I'm a US citizen and I work overseas I show up as unemployed in the US it's much easier to work overseas today than it was back in the day because you just you just couldn't jump on an airplane and go back and forth uh, every six weeks so if you get really technical about everything <laughs> There's more people working today, okay, than there was back then. And the only reason that the chart looks the way it does is only because of demographics and the baby boomers that are retiring. It's got shit to do with, oh, you know, the government is lying and look at the data. I mean, come on, come on. There are so many more people today that are educated than there was back in 1970. And they're still falling for this kind of bullshit. Like, don't they have critical thinking abilities? <sighs> Come on. Anyway, so um, you know, that's that's the fuckery of it all, unfortunately. And there's so much of that that goes on. And I could make I don't know, thousand and two thousand videos exposing each and every one of the uh, the bullshit that that goes on. Uh, in social media just like the MMT tards oh don't worry about it we can just print money and we'll print value and then we'll pay for it bullshit you can't pay for it you can't you can't the money that you're printing is based on the assets of the entire economy okay you're diluting it you're converting it uh, from assets to dollars and that's how you're paying for it you're not paying for it because you could just print fucking money money is just a representation of, of, of value just a medium of, of exchange you can't just print money if, if you could print value for the, for the money at the same time you're printing money then nobody will have to fucking work we'll all just sit home let the government print give it to us and that's it you know we'll just fucking import everything life is good but again very highly educated people economists uh, this that scientists that, that, that they can't figure out that you cannot print value for a currency they can't figure that little you debunk that everything else is you don't even talk about it you don't even bother there's nothing to be said if the act of printing uh, money created value at the same time then venezuela would be the the most powerful nation on earth same thing with zimbabwe they'll be competing for you know top spot and yet highly educated people people that went at least to you know 
got a GED or whatever the fuck they got, right? Look at all this. Look at all this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that in this day and age, people cannot read charts. Uh, I don't Speechless. Anyway, so that's it for this video. Don't get fooled by this. 100 million are out of the labor force. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Take care. Bye-bye. Before this battle's over, the world will know that few stood against many.